Hi everyone, Arjun on page today and i am already started the page by gluing the white backing of a paper napkin. I just took the white backing, just scrunched it up and glued it with white glue. It takes a lot of time to <laughs> get dry so I just went for it, put the glue, made some wrinkles so it will have a, lots of texture and also went over it with glue and let it dry so I've got this and before I'm continuing I want to try and put some gesso on top and I know white on white but what I want to try and achieve is some uh, gesso uh, resist I hope it will work I'm planning on using some watercolors or sprays and it should probably uh, work also with diluted acrylics I'm not so sure but you can try if that's what you want so I've picked this uh, stamp I made from a uh, craft foam and I'm just uh, putting some gesso on top of it and I'm going to stamp it randomly on the page and hope that it will give me some kind of detail in the back of course I need for this to uh, be completely dry before I am attempting anything and not sure it will work if not then I will add more detailing to the background later on we'll see of course it won't be perfect because of all the texture I already have but it will stay if it will show through the watercolors then it will be interesting and that's what I'm going for and not something that would be precise and perfect so only one more I think here and this is it so I'm just cleaning it never leave gesso or a modeling paste anything that is pasty on your stamps or stencils so I'm going to let this dry and then we'll continue or maybe you know what I'm going to put this aside and continue to uh, work on my photo image now I wanted some flower and went through my stash and decided to go with paper napkin I've got lots of them and I forget to use them so I separated the white uh, backings of course I'm keeping the white backings because I always use them and I only took this part of the paper napkin I want the sunflower and I haven't decided if I also wanted the stem and the leaf so I'm going to glue this to this page if I won't glue it to a white page or then this is a translucent and if I will glue it directly on the page whatever is underneath will show through and I'm not uh, interested this time in the background showing through uh, so I'm going to just glue it to this page I'm going to take some white glue I have a little bit uh, of water with my glue now I don't have measurements for you uh, it's I'm just by feel what I'm putting water always into my white glue basically sometimes the consistency is so thick that when you are trying to work with it with paper napkins it will drag the paper napkin and tear it so that's why I add some water so just placing it I'm not really concerned again about wrinkles it's just part of the of working with paper napkins and now I'm working with the flat of the brush and always use some soft brush and the flat of it to put 
the glue on top so it will slide and won't drag and I'm working from the inside towards the outside there are all kinds of ways to glue paper napkins without wrinkles you can check it on YouTube lots and lots of videos of how to I'm just <laughs> sorry not interested I like the wrinkles so I've got this and again this needs to be dry and then I'm going to fussy cut it so putting this aside and this one also now let's see if the gesso is already dry because gesso dries fast seems to so I'm going to move forward and I just want to play with some watercolors. As I said, it doesn't have to be watercolors. You can use sprays or uh, dilute your uh, acrylic paint. Now, uh, let's see. This kit, I just, I bought it on AliExpress. There is no brand, no nothing. So, that's it. Just uh, done a search for a watercolor set and picked one that uh, someone something that I liked <laughs> and that's it so, so water brush and I want I think this color just more water and I'm starting with this I think I need a bigger brush And I'm also going to spray it a little bit and help it along. Part of the use of paper napkin in the back is the texture. And the other uh, reason I decided to use this is that I really like how uh, watery stuff are just traveling along the texture. So that's why. Of course, if it's not something that you like, you can always start the page on a blank page and do just a resist and whatever goes, goes. So I've got one uh, stamp here of the gesso. I'm not sure it will work. Sometimes it takes time to show through. So I'm just keeping with adding the color that I want and I think I will also go with the same color here at the bottom diagonal to diagonal to this corner and well let it spread maybe if I'll tilt it maybe so I'm just going to let this do its thing and spread. I don't want to see straight lines. I want it more organic. So that's why I'm spraying it with water. I'm still with the same color that I have started. I'm going to add more colors, but right now I'm just still with this one adding more to the corner so it will be darker and let's see what other color do I want and I'm spraying let's see mm, what am I in the mood for <laughs> let's go with Turquoise, always one of my favorites. I'm letting them blend together. So again, so I won't have definite line in between. And if need be, I will just spray it more and Maybe again try to tilt it and help it.
Okay, lots of water. Now we're talking. That's what I wanted to see, how it goes like this. So I'm going to do the same thing on this uh, corner, but I'll do it later. I just want one more uh, color. Let's see. I've got, I will have this here. Maybe something that will break the, the blue and something else. So it won't be all blue. Okay, let's be brave. I'm going with this color. Lots and lots of water. It will take a lot of time to dry but it's worth it and I'm going to do the same here on this corner right now I just want you to see what's going on again helping it and if I don't want part of it I can just dab and do something like that Okay, so I'm going to do this corner and then I'll come back. Okay, so here we go. Here is the background. And as you can see, the gesso resist didn't work. So I'm going to add some details in the back, some interest. I'm going to use the same uh, stamp from before. I added some yellow to what I had left here from the gesso and i'm going to stamp it now again it's not going to be something precise i have a lot of texture here it's not even <laughs> but i think i'm going to continue with this because it's it's interesting it's it, sometimes you don't it's not what you wanted and still you keep going and I think it's more interesting when I don't have a complete flower yellow flower so it won't distract from my focal image so I'm just continuing and whatever happens, happens. Oh, I like it. Let's see. Yeah, definitely better than what I thought I wanted. <laughs> so, this one goes here, so I need some glue in the back. And of course, I will need to continue the stamp somehow, probably with acrylic. So just some glue in the back. Okay. So I want it, I want it here, yeah. I'm going to let this dry so I won't make a mess and then I'll continue with the stem. I'll be back. While I'm waiting for everything to dry, I still have here more yellow and I really like what the hints of yellow in the back. So I'm just going to add some circles like this. Again, 
doing it randomly. Maybe another one here. I just don't want it to go. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, really like it. It's, it brightened up and my uh, background and now it's more interesting. At least I think so. <laughs> I just had someone comment on one of my videos that it wasn't art, it was tinkering and I just laughed because <laughs> whatever, I like doing it, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody has to watch the videos so let's see some green for the stem let's see what I've got to work with maybe this color will work okay So I've got this one, let's start and see where it gets me, whatever will be will be, it's not art, it's tinkering, <laughs> I'm sorry, it still, still makes me laugh. all kinds of comments out there all kinds of i don't know what to call it strange people that really need to say their thing <laughs> who am i to this <laughs> to be in the way yeah i'm taking a little bit of this yellow just give it like a highlight like I have here which is the paper napkin so I'm just continuing yeah shall I attempt another <laughs> leaf well let's go for it some kind of crooked leaf, whatever. My opinion is as long as you're having fun and you like the outcome, that's all that matters. Sometimes I don't even like the outcome but if i had fun experimenting or creating or whatever you want to call it then that's all that matters sometimes i think i know i have an image i want to achieve it and i don't manage it never mind i tried i had fun that's all that matters I'm just adding from the yellow to this leaf from the paper napkin so it will just go with this one. It's a little bit difficult to paint on all this texture from the paper napkin but it can be achieved. Yeah, I've got another leaf. That's nice. And I thought about stamping some more with black. Don't know why, but I think I'm just going to leave it be. 
I'm going to let this <laughs> dry and just leave it be. I like it. It's nice. And that's all that matters. Okay, so my masking tape is getting hold of the paper napkin, but here we go. I've managed it. I, re I think I want some words here. Mm hmm. So maybe I'm not done. I'll think about it. I'll be back. Okay, so find some words that are fitting. More kindness, less judgment. And I'm just, I just glued them and I'm adding a little bit of the finishing. No, again, not trying to be precise or anything, just Yeah, I like it. Maybe a little bit under. Why not? If it's tinkering, then I'm going to tinker away. <laughs> okay. Good enough for me. Living it be. <laughs> I can mess with it all day. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments down below. It's really appreciated. It tells me that you are watching. It tells me that you, are, that you like what I'm doing and that I'm not talking to myself. So, I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.